by four. Imagine. Right, we apologize for that small technical uh, interference right there. But yes, we still have Joanne in studio, and uh, she's uh, Amibo Bear Katika Crochet, and she's using it to make a living for herself. And another special thing that I'm going to be sharing with you guys uh, in the course of the interview. So back to you, uh, Joanne. Mm -hmm. uh, you were telling me about the fur uh, clothing, and this yeah. is where it starts right here. Yes. All right, wonderful. Um, uh -huh. Another thing that got my attention mm -hmm. uh, is... The wedding dress. Oh, my wedding dress. Yes. Yeah, I made it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, congratulations uh, in your in your marriage, by the way. Thank you so much. All Thank right, you. and uh, yeah. I'm really happy for you. Thank uh, you. The good thing, or the thing that stands out, is that you mm -hmm. made your dress yeah. uh, by yourself. Yes. And it was a product of crochet. Yes. Had you have you have, had you ever seen this before? Uh, like wedding dresses made yes. out of yarn? Uh -huh. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, uh, where did you get the crazy idea to make <laughs> your wedding, wedding dress? Because I don't see people, so many people do it. Uh, first and foremost, uh -huh. I'm a fan of my brand. Uh -huh. So, there's no way I could like purchase wedding dress out there. Uh -huh. So, I knew from the beginning, like, if I were to get married, it's uh -huh. something I would definitely design for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what I did. All right, we're going to show you guys a picture. It's a beautiful dress right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> you told me you use a special kind of yarn when it comes to a special kind of dress like exactly. this one. Exactly. What is so special about this kind of yarn that you use to make your uh -huh. wedding dress? This kind of yarn, mm -hmm. it's called cotton yarn, uh -huh. but it's not only cotton yarn, it's uh -huh. macerized cotton yarn. All like right. it has Rewind been taken. <laughs> back again, uh -huh. Like it's cotton yarn, uh -huh. like the material is cotton yarn, mm -hmm. but then again it has been taken through a process of refining it mm -hmm. so that the quality is durable, mm -hmm. like it's uh, resistant to wear and things. tear. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. And the quality is quite top notch. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Before you give us a quotation of uh, uh, for the wedding dress, because mm -hmm. it's something beautiful. Instead of uh, people importing wedding dresses, yeah. I think this is the future right This here. is the future, by uh -huh. the way. But yeah. I like people to see it first before uh -huh. you give us a quotation. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, as they line up the pictures, mm -hmm. you have an event. Yes. This weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, it involves crochet. Yes. It involves mental health as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're merging these two together mm -hmm. uh, for something special. Yes. Tell me more about this event. Okay, uh, the event is uh, going down this coming Saturday, mm -hmm. 7th. Uh, the venue is Aboretam, mm -hmm. Nairobi, here. Mm -hmm. uh, time from 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. And it's all about crochet for mental health mm -hmm. therapy mm -hmm. and empowerment. All right. Yeah. Uh, you told me crochet is a form of therapy. Yeah. This is tested and proven, and this is something uh, you actually uh, uh, used yourself. Yes. Tell me about this phase of your life. Okay. Uh, like four months ago, mm -hmm. I suffered like depression, anxiety, and panic attacks. Mm -hmm. And I used to crochet as a therapy. Those are three very strong <laughs> words you should yeah. not say uh, lightly like that. You suffered what? I know. What and what? Depression, uh -huh. anxiety disorder, uh -huh. and panic attacks. Yeah, it was quite um, mm -hmm. a hard moment for mm -hmm. me. Yeah. It was just a hard moment for me. It was a me. tough moment it for you. It was a tough moment. All right. Yeah. So uh, did you get to the root of the problem? Did you ever figure out uh, the source of your anxiety, depression, and, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the, the other one? Mm -hmm. Okay. I saw a psychiatrist, uh -huh. and we had a talk, mm -hmm. and she was trying to pinpoint, like, what was the root cause of all this. Mm -hmm. And for me, I think, like, I've had, like, stressful, long stressful moments in mm -hmm. my life, and that could have erupted into all this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so you've had some small, small, stressful times uh, yes. in your life over time. Yes. These things accrue and uh, yes. might blow up sometimes. Yeah, it blew up. It blew up yeah. on you. Yes. You found uh, refuge in crochet. Exactly. And uh, this really uh, helped you through a tough time. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell me, uh, how, how did how did it work for you? When you felt some type of way, did uh -huh. you 
Uh, just get your, your hook. You said this is a? Uh, crochet hook. A crochet hook. Yeah, Did you just hook. get your crochet hook and yarn and just try to forget about things? Or how, yeah. how, how was the process for you? You see, like when uh, when you are suffering from depression mm -hmm. and uh, those anxiety and panic attacks, like your mind is in a constant in a constant state of worrying, uh -huh. like negative thoughts and you all that. You can't point to a certain Yes, a like certain you are problem. always like worrying, like, oh my God, like when will be the, when will be the next panic attack uh -huh. and all that. Uh -huh. Like your mind mind can't settle uh -huh. but you see like I use crochet as a therapy because uh -huh. my mind was fully immersed into what I was doing mm -hmm. so it takes away most of the wiring part of it wow yeah did you ever get because you told me you saw a psychiatrist did yeah. he or she prescribe any 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 drugs, any drugs for you yes uh -huh. I was on drugs for almost like one and a half months mm -hmm. yeah uh, did they help as well well you as see good what as crochet did uh, yeah, the drugs helped, uh -huh. but most of the work you have to put in, like uh -huh. you have to be self-determined. That is a tough about a tough mental thing. illness, yeah? Exactly. Uh -huh. You see, like the drugs, they suppress your emotions and uh -huh. all that. Uh, and uh, during that moment where your emotions has been suppressed, uh -huh. it's up to you as a person now to start fighting for your life, mm -hmm. like t going through maybe therapy talks and mm -hmm. all that. But for me, what I use is crochet as mm -hmm. a therapy for me. And mm -hmm. of course, I was also going through counseling and all that to help me overcome all this. All right. Yeah. So this led you to the, having uh, this bright idea yes. of bringing together uh, men and women mm -hmm. uh, who are passionate about crochet yeah. and in the process you want to help people who are dealing with mental illnesses, different kinds of mental illnesses. Exactly. All right, yeah. uh, uh, expound on this a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, getting help, like the professional side of it can mm -hmm. be a bit expensive, mm -hmm. especially if you don't have the money to afford these services. Mm -hmm. But you see, art is free. Mm -hmm. Like, it gives you that it's opportunity expression. to, to uh -huh. express yourself. Uh -huh. At the same time, it gives you, like, more of an escape, mm -hmm. yeah, for mm -hmm. recovery. For recovery. Yeah. Alright, so it's better to choose uh, something uh, constructive yes. in moments, uh, in trying moments like these. Exactly. Uh, as opposed to destructive habits like uh, yeah. like uh, like drugs. Because mm -hmm. most people tend towards the drugs when they go through things like this. True. All yeah. right, what is going to be happening on Saturday when we come to Aboration? Uh, so what will be happening, it's going to be a meetup. Mm -hmm. We are going to talk about mental health. Mm -hmm. We are going to create awareness. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going, it's basically unwinding mm -hmm. and using art as a tool mm -hmm. for promoting mental health awareness. All right. Yeah. So uh, as a... As a, as a survivor mm -hmm. of mental illness, mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the stereotypes you see around mental illnesses mm -hmm. uh, that uh, uh, you look at and just say, oh, mm. ignorance is, uh, is such a... <laughs> is such a... <laughs> is such a... Uh, is such a uh, yeah, to uh, develop. True. Okay, uh. let me talk uh, from my personal point of experience. Mm -hmm. When I was going through all this depression mm -hmm. and all that, first of for, first of all, I didn't know w what was happening to me. Mm -hmm. It's something like I didn't have an idea. Mm -hmm. And then I remember I used to reach out to people like, mm -hmm. I'm depressed, like uh, I'm feeling weird and mm -hmm. all that. And then most people will tell me like, where we are China no gunjos, our zungu and all that. And this then happens a lot. It happens mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, people believe that mental illness is for the white people. Mm -hmm. Like Africans has not embraced, mm -hmm. like even we Africans, mm -hmm. we can suffer from mental illness. All right. Yeah. Or when you say human and we exactly all have, uh, our mentors yes uh -huh. and then people shy from uh talking about mental illness because what wana fikiria wewe ni mwenda wazimu so you'd rather suffer in silence uh -huh. without people maybe thinking you are going mad or something uh -huh. yeah because that is a that is a a, a tag that nobody really wants could go could, could e wanda wazimu exactly all right mm -hmm. but which is not always the case it's not always the and case and i'm told uh, most of us suffer from uh, mental illnesses we're just ending now is this true it's true uh -huh. it's true because for me uh even after seeing the psychiatrist mm -hmm. i was still in denial mm -hmm. uh when the psychiatrist gave me the medicines mm -hmm. uh i refused to take them because mm -hmm. i believed like 
I'm not mad. Uh, and I'm you're okay. Not going to admit and that I was not going, yeah. yeah. And the problem is the longer the time you are in denial, mm -hmm. the more suffering you're putting to yourself. Uh -huh. Yeah. So once I accepted that indeed me as Joanne I have a problem, uh -huh. that's when the healing starts to kick in. Uh -huh. Like now you be you embrace yourself, like mm -hmm. you start loving yourself, like I have a problem, it's okay to take my drugs, mm -hmm. it's okay to seek for help and mm -hmm. all that. Yeah. All right, so people will assume that uh, mental illness is uh, straight insanity. Exactly. But I'm told <laughs> when, you, uh, when you read the list of mental illnesses, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a long one. It's a long one. It surpasses Andre. Yes. All right, there's a mm -hmm. long list of mental illnesses mm -hmm. and insanity is just one of them. Yes. All right, so you suffer from three that uh, were yeah. uh, diagnosed by a doctor yes. and uh, not so many people can afford a doctor not yes. so many people can be told oh this one is anxiety this mm. one is depression and this one is that mm -hmm. so uh, uh, what are some of the steps they can take to better their lives if mm -hmm. they suspect they might be going through a form of uh, mental illness uh, the first step is uh, reach out mm -hmm. yeah talk to people mm -hmm. don't holding hold How it do you in. know the right people to talk to because uh, as you told me uh -huh. uh, you were scared of being tagged an insane person uh -huh. and most of the people are going to tag you that if mm -hmm. you tell them uh, you're going through this mm -hmm. how do you know the right person to talk to at <laughs> this particular uh, uh, compromising mm -hmm. position mm -hmm. uh -huh. like for me i used to reach out to random people mm -hmm. on social media people that didn't know me so mm -hmm. that I couldn't be judged in any way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I did. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then maybe if I met a stranger, I would tell them like, do you know about depression? Have you ever suffered this and uh -huh. all that? Then I would open up, cry. Like I used to cry all all, all, all of the time. Uh -huh. yeah, most of the time I used to cry. All right. And actually crying helps because it relieves like your emotions. And crying is a, is, a, is a, you'd prescribe crying yes, as well. Yes, yes. All right, so yeah. crying mm -hmm. is, a, is a way you can can let things out. Yeah, you let things out through uh -huh. crying. All yeah. right. And avoid the explosions in the long run. Exactly. Wow. Okay, so uh, Saturday it's going to be live. Uh, there's going to be conversations. Mm -hmm. uh, are people who are not well versed with the, with the craft invited as yeah. well? Yeah, they're all invited. Uh -huh. It's not about all those people who are in the crochet industry. Mm -hmm. Even you, you can come. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's for everyone. Uh -huh. Yeah, we are not knowledge. locking. Yeah, it's all about creating awareness. So we are not locking anyone out uh -huh. yes. in the process. Yes. All right, so we have the poster on screen right there. Uh, crochet Club, Club Kenya, Kenya presents. Uh -huh. uh, let's talk about Crochet Club Kenya. Is this something that you're, yeah. you're, you're formulating? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I'm the founder of the Crochet Club Kenya. Uh -huh. It's an online platform uh -huh. that has brought people in the crochet industry uh -huh. currently in our group we are over 25,000 members Facebook group yes <laughs> wow. 25,000 people are interested in crochet. yeah in crocheting Wow yeah it's created employment yes people are actually selling this exactly uh, but the most people are doing crochet as a full-time job uh -huh. and it pays yeah. Well, I learn a lot on strength of women because yeah. uh, I recently had uh, somebody who formulated or who founded the Bakers Club. Mm -hmm. It's a Facebook group uh, yeah. that has br brought bakers together. Mm -hmm. and women are actually feeding their families and taking their kids to school mm -hmm. uh, through baking. And crochet is also another uh, another thing right here. I'm yeah. learning uh, on strength of a woman. That's uh, that's amazing. Yes. So how can they join the group on Facebook? Uh, so on Facebook, search the word Crochet Club Kenya mm -hmm. and then you send a request and then I'll just add you up. All right. Yeah. Back to the poster again, <laughs> my director. Uh, crochet for mental health meetup and, and empowerment. empowerment. All mm -hmm. right. Carry your own yarn, carry your yarn and hook. Let's conquer, conquer the world. world. Yeah. Uh, Saturday, 7th March uh, 2020, the venue is Aboretum, Nairobi. Time is 11 to 2 p.m. Dress code is sporty because mm -hmm. we are going to have a lot of activities yeah. uh, that are engaging. Yes. Uh, talking about sporty, right? There, mm -hmm. uh, do we have sporty wear made from crochet as well? Um, okay, honestly, I've never seen it, but seen? I think it's something possible to make. It's something yeah. possible. Yeah. Swimming is a sport. Yeah, uh, by the way. Matter. It's a sport. So, uh, that, is a, <laughs> that is a first sporting. Yes. Uh, well made from crochet. Mm -hmm. All right, I like that. I don't see any price tag on this. Oh poster. yeah, it's here to confirm your attendance. Uh -huh. You Mpesa Kenyan shillings one hundred uh -huh. to my phone number that uh -huh. is zero seven two zero uh -huh. seven two three eight three two. And the one hundred bob uh -huh. it's basically for the entrance fee. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Oh, so Abore, at Abore, Abore time, time you have they, to pay. Oh, they charge hundred at that Yes. Entrance. So what I do is I'm just consolidating the funds so and then I'm you, going to pay uh -huh. as a group instead of someone going, lining up, and uh -huh. then you have to pay via m -Pesa. So yes. you would like to bring the community together before yes. the opportunity. Yes, yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I like also that you're not charging anything extra. Yes. This is not a profitable venture. Yeah, it's not a profitable venture. It's something you're doing uh, yes. for mental health because yes. it's something you're passionate about. Yes. All right, I love this. Yes. How can people get uh, to buy your products? Uh huh. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, my brand is called Johatians. J O Hat for Hat. <laughs> hat and for then Hat's right here. Yes, heart for heart, <laughs> and then yans. Heart, okay. Yes, so but it's one word. Jo, uh -huh. Jo it's from Joanne, uh -huh. so it's J-O, uh -huh. heart, uh -huh. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. then yans. All right. Yans. Do you speak mm -hmm. sign language? You see? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you have the grip on it. No, I All don't. Right. Let's get a taste of uh -huh. the pictures. I know you guys have been waiting for this ever since we went on that break. Yeah. And this is our first outfit right there. Oh, uh, yeah, this uh -huh. is me. This is a crop top. Uh -huh. And yes. you're modeling for yourself. Yes, mm. it's a pineapple crop top. What you can see the elements of pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the pineapples? It's here. Oh, these. Uh, yeah, are they're pineapples. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that your body can also breathe. Uh, yes. All right. Uh -huh. I feel that that's a crop top. Yeah. Anything that is made from this uh, normal fabric that we're used to uh -huh. can be crocheted. Exactly. Seems like it. Because yeah. I've seen a crop top now. Mm -hmm. We're yet to see uh, more surprises. Let's uh, move on to the next one. Wow, okay. What mm -hmm. do you call this now? Uh, this is called Flower of Life Top. Flower of Life Top. You uh, have a beautiful name <laughs> for your outfit, so I can tell. Yes, uh -huh. it's called Flower of Life. Uh -huh. and there's then, a flower, the yes, shirt, right? Yes, there's an element of flower uh -huh. in the middle part of it. Uh -huh. Yes. All right, mm -hmm. I like, I like, I like. Let's move on to the next. Mm -hmm. Beachwear. Uh, Beachwear, mm -hmm. yes. This I'm is guessing it's shoulder. very hot in the coast at this particular time. Exactly. So uh, the yarn has to be very particular. Yes, uh -huh. you must use cotton yarn. Because uh -huh. if you use any other yarn, uh -huh. and you, you, as you know that the coast area is quite hot, uh -huh. yes, you need something that is absorbent. Uh -huh. yeah, and cotton, cotton does it. Oh, something yeah. that is going to absorb the uh, your the as sweat, you pass by. The, yes. All right. Uh -huh. I like. I like. I like. Mm -hmm. the, uh, but you don't jump into the water with this. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's going yeah. to soak in a lot of water. For swimwear, uh -huh. it's a no. For it's cotton, no. yeah. All right, but you can use it to hang out. It's around the beach, the... and all that. You can do all, all right, that. All right. I feel yeah. you. I feel there's a lot of creativity in here. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's move on to the next. Wow. Yeah. I can tell this is. Really good. <laughs> yes. All right, what is happening here? It's a far dress. This is a far dress? Yes. For the red carpet? Yeah, for the red carpet. So everything is possible from it's beachwear possible. to the red carpet mm -hmm. uh, to you know what I'm uh, waiting for. <laughs> All right, let's for the wedding dress? The, yeah. Let's move on to the next. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. This is Val. This is Val. <laughs> oh, color me Val. Yes, and, this is Val. Uh -huh. And you colored her for real? Yes, but they shout out to Val. Uh -huh. She was among my first clients. Those uh, people who believed in me from the beginning. Wow. Yeah. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, I like. You colored her for real for real. For real. <laughs> Let's move on to the next. Wow, well, this is a... Uh, a festival wear? Juchini. Yes. <laughs> it's a two-set okay. piece. It's a two-set piece right there. Yeah. Who's, who's this? Uh, this is a model. She's uh -huh. called Sharon Utieno. Uh -huh. Yes. She's also a stylist. All right. Yeah. She's killing this one. Yeah. <laughs> so this was a runway event? Uh, no, this was actually a photo shoot mm -hmm. that we did with her. This is a shoot? It yeah. looks like a stage. It looks like she... Oh. Okay. Oh, my my contrast is different. The contrast is different. Oh yeah. Oh, right. from the other side, I can see now. Yeah. The shoot. I like the choice of colors. I like the background. Mm -hmm. I like the concept. Who took the pictures? Uh he's called Smith Photography. S Smith Photography. Shout yes. out to you, Smith. Think he did a good job. I think Smith and Joanne and this model. <laughs> we are like this. <laughs> <laughs> She'd warm up your tail for sure. This is amazing. Thank you. I love this one right here. So the, what did you call this again? Uh, this is a two-piece. Uh -huh. It's more of a festival wear. Uh -huh. uh, the short has some ruffle decoration uh -huh. on uh -huh. the lower part of it. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
It's even the colors. So anybody who's planning to go to a festival and yeah. stand out yes. and look different at mm -hmm. the festival, you're yes. the person to see. I'm the person to see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, let's move on to the next. Wow. This is a Rasta waras. vibe. Waras, no. <laughs> okay, I see. For your, those reggae events, uh -huh. I got you. You uh -huh. can get your Rasta outfits from us. All right, yeah. I feel you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This is I a like. client. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. To me, a shout out. What one of support is very important. Just Ooh. send a shout client and to people. Hi, my clients. I appreciate <laughs> you so much for the support you've shown me. Uh -huh. This is still Sharon. Uh -huh. Yeah, she bought this piece from us. Uh -huh. yeah. Sharon is a model. Yeah, on the, the other model, one. the previous I like, model. She's really killing your your outfits. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell me it's the same photographer. Uh I don't know. I think well, it's this a, was yeah, a shoot she This did is a different on. shoot she uh -huh. did on her own. All right. Yeah. I like, I like, I like the concept with all the fruits and everything. It brings out the, the, the Caribbean feel. And all, that. all right. So which which one did you make here? Because they all look like <laughs> it. Uh -huh. The top part of it is uh -huh. crochet. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's one of my clients. She's uh -huh. called Miss Mora. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, she's a plus size model. All right. Yeah. Uh huh. Shout out to you, Miss Mora, mm -hmm. uh, for the agenda you're pushing right now. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. Uh -huh. And I love the top as well. This is Yay! the moment you've been waiting for. Yes. Oh, and mm -hmm. this is your wedding day. Yes. This, this is was about four months ago. Yes. And you designed the, the, the wedding dress. Yes. Uh, and even the tops. Mm -hmm. Like my bridesmaid's tops. It's wow. also crochet. And they match the wedding dress uh, somehow, some way. Yes. Wow. Uh -huh. Who comes up? Oh, okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> Hat yarns. I like the signature right there. These mm -hmm. are your friends? Yeah, these are my friends. Mm -hmm. She also crochets. We work uh -huh. together with her. Mm -hmm. And this is one of my best friends. She's mm -hmm. called Esther. Mm -hmm. This is Annette. Esther and Annette. Yes. Thank you very much for being there for the beautiful yeah. lady right mm -hmm. there. Uh -huh. Wow. I'm speechless for sure. And Thank how you. do you manage to make it look so seamless? Because I can't... Uh, I'm, the, this could be see-through, the outside uh, yes, part of it. Yes, it's see-through, it's uh -huh. lace, uh -huh. and then I have to now do a lining. A uh, lining inside. It. Yes. What kind of fabric is used uh, for the lining? Uh, for the lining, because the yarn is stretchy, so I had to use a stretchy lining as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that they can All match. All right, together. let's just hold it there, the wedding dress. Don't change. Now then, let's hold it there, so we yeah. can talk about the pricing. Mm -hmm. uh, let's uh, talk about the skirt you have on right now. Oh, mm -hmm. Do you want to see it? Uh, yes, oh, we can see, we <laughs> can see it as well. So they can see it. Oh, this is uh -huh. how it looks like. Uh -huh. um, it's a ruffle skirt. Uh -huh. The bottom detail is ruffle, uh -huh. and then it's a high waist skirt. It's a high waist skirt. Yes. So where can I wear this? By the I made this like oh, four years me. ago, <laughs> okay. and it's one of my favorites. Uh -huh. And as you can see, it's still in good shape. Still in good shape. Yeah. Four years counting. Four years down so the line. So anybody who is worried about the durability, uh, your your question is answered. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Where can uh, a sister wear this to? Uh, Apart from a TV interview, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can wear this to even to church uh -huh. if you're not that conservative. Uh -huh. But the good thing is I customize. Uh -huh. I can make it to a certain length that uh -huh. you desire. Uh -huh. And you can also do this for even at work, uh -huh. like formal wear and uh -huh. all that. Yeah, it all depends with where you want to and you can mix it, it yeah. with a fitting t-shirt you can mix it with a top you uh, can yes mix it with a coat yes uh, depending on your style and where you want to take it yes can i can i keep saying i like i want to <laughs> ask her. all right can a sister rock this with some sneakers maybe yeah. and just make it uh, a little bit uh, yes. informal yeah it all depends with your personal style mm -hmm. however you want to rock it right. that's up to your personal style how much do I have to cough to, to have this beautiful dress for, mm, for, the skirt? Uh, for somebody special? Okay, for the mm. skirt uh -huh. is Kenyan shillings, 3,500. 3,500 only? Yeah, only. Uh, that's like, only. Uh, <laughs> only. Yes. Considering the way it's time consuming uh -huh. to make it, yeah. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. That's like thirty-five dollars. Yeah, thirty-five dollars <laughs> only. Thirty-five dollars <laughs> only. Yeah, so thirty-four, thirty-five dollars you can get the skirt. Mm-hmm. And uh, as Kenyans like to say, at least go san. At least go san. Tunezongea by the way. Exactly. Mm-hmm. A crop top maybe. Ah, uh, a crop top starts from Kenyan shillings a thousand bob, <coughs> going up depending on the material used. Mm-hmm. Like the same crop top, maybe I could make for like a thousand bob if I use like a different material that is mm-hmm. highly cost. That is costly. Mm-hmm. Perhaps it's even going to cost like two thousand, three thousand. Mm-hmm. So it also depends with the material this client has selected. All right. How yeah. about a uh, swimsuit? Uh, swimsuit ranges from Kenyan shillings fifteen hundred, uh-huh. going up to eight thousand. All right. Depending, depending on, on the design, design the size, uh-huh. and the material used. The material. Yeah. The yarn. Yeah, the yarn used. Depending on the yarn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And how much you yarn for it? All right. <laughs> So, uh, the big word, the wedding dress now. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like your wedding dress in particular. Thank uh, you. Uh, how much uh, would you have had to pay if you were not the person making it? So, how much does it cost in, uh, in simple? In simple, terms? okay. Uh-huh. Uh, this wedding dress would uh-huh. cost like 50,000 50, Kenyan shillings. Yeah. But that was cost. At like was in, at no. Zongia. What if I'd like one for hire? I don't want to uh-huh. have the, dr- the wedding dress forever. I just want to have it to for hire that. for that yeah. particular uh, event. Mm-hmm. It goes for Kenyan shillings 15,000 only. Mm-hmm. 15,000 only. Uh, yeah. Before we get back to talking uh, about uh, the event, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'd like to I'd like to give you a chance to share your social media handles okay. so they can make their orders. Mm-hmm. Uh, the people who are having their weddings during this April season, yeah. uh, so they book their things. Or oh, the people who are going to the coast mm-hmm. for Easter mm-hmm. or get bikini zown on a swimsuit. Yeah. Just share with them the the, the social media handles okay. and maybe the phone number, the business phone oh, number. Oh, the phone number. Mm-hmm. So my uh, my Instagram name is Johatians mm-hmm. and my phone number is zero seven two zero seven two three eight three two. Mm-hmm. And you can also find me on my personal page Joan Aoko mm-hmm. yeah if you just search Joan Aoko you'll find me yes and we can pick it up from there uh-huh. and by the way I also have like a YouTube channel mm-hmm. the YouTube channel what is kind called of content is that? Uh, I teach people how to crochet wow. for free for free, <laughs> for free. All right. so my YouTube channel is called the Johat Yans uh-huh. yeah and it's all about crochet content uh-huh. and yeah Crochet tutorials, All right, teaching crochet people how to crochet. And crochet yeah. tutorials. Yes. What would you tell the guys who are watching right now mm-hmm. uh, and uh, who don't trust uh, Kenyan products, who don't trust Kenyan businesses enough uh, to buy from Kenyan producers mm-hmm. and Kenyan, uh, Kenyan uh, sellers? Yeah, what I can tell them mm-hmm. is we need to change our mindset. Mm-hmm. We need to support our own Kenyan mm-hmm. designers. Mm-hmm. Uh, our staff are authentic. Like mm-hmm. you see what I'm doing here. Mm-hmm. This is handmade. Uh-huh. This is something unique. You uh-huh. can't find it anywhere mm-hmm. else. And you find that uh-huh. most of the people they trust like the abroad market, uh-huh. while the same things you can still find them in Kenya uh-huh. at the same quality. At the same quality. Yeah. Quality is the most important quality thing. Quality is the most Price important at thing. Wezikosana. At Wezikosana. <laughs> By the way, value, the value that I'm giving uh-huh. is the most important. Price, uh-huh. yo. Uh, yes. Tuneza right. yeah. <laughs> Another uh, one last word uh, to. To people who are dealing with uh, mental illnesses or people who are affected directly Mm -hmm. uh, or people who are affected indirectly or somebody who's just living with somebody who's suffering from Mm. uh, any form of mental illness. Okay. Mm-hmm. What I can tell them, guys, it's time to talk. Mm-hmm. Do not suffer in silence. Mm-hmm. Reach out to people. Mm-hmm. Seek for help. Mm-hmm. Because, uh, you know, when you share your problem with the people, it's going to be easy for you to uh, get out of it rather mm-hmm. than suffering in silence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are medical help. There, there are professionals out there who are ready to counsel mm-hmm. you. And also there, there is medical aspect of it. All right. Yeah. So from uh, the list of people you've mentioned, uh, it's not just people, the right people. Yeah. Share your right. problems with the right with the people. Right people. Because right. if you share it with the wrong people, you can also get stigmatized. Yeah. And uh, mm. the, your situation might get worse. Yes. Thank you very much for coming through. Thank you so uh, much for having me. To in the morning. Yes. Mm-hmm. And thank you very much for what you're doing. If they'd like to be part of the Saturday event, mm-hmm. uh, how do they get uh, in contact with you? One last time. Okay, you can find my contact on my business page, mm-hmm. or you can reach me on the same contact is zero seven 
2073283 or you can search my name on Facebook Joanna Oko and then you can inbox me and then I'll give you more details about it mm -hmm. or you can simply just show up at Aboretum uh -huh. yeah on Saturday uh -huh. just come <laughs> call. Aboretum yes. is big so if you just call yeah just uh, call and uh, the numbers are on the business page yes on the business page all right yes. which is right here Yes, and by the way, mm -hmm. there will be a free ride. Mm -hmm. Like we have a partner on board, Safe mm -hmm. Border. They'll mm -hmm. be offering free ride to people to Aboretum. Um, All right. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. You're already making moves like that. Thank yeah. you very much for coming. <laughs> Thank uh, you so Ms. much Joy. for having me. Uh, we appreciate you so much. Keep doing Thank what you. you're doing Thank you. uh, for mental health mm -hmm. and uh, for the, for making us look good. Yeah. <laughs> in your outfits like that. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. yeah, appreciate. We have come to the end of this particular segment, Strength of a Woman. This happens every single Wednesday. Uh, on this day, we celebrate the Queens. And uh, hashtag is always Queens Wednesday. Hashtag is Y in the morning. And we run from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. And coming up next is Girls Talk. Another thing for.